And with that ominous thing, we headed to the first level proper, Jungle Japes. So along with golden bananas, there are also regular bananas that serve a couple of purposes. First of all, there's that portal over there that Squawks mentioned. And second of all, the banana medals in which you need to collect uh, 75 or more regular bananas as each Kong to get a uh, to get a gold banana. Or not a gold, uh, banana medal. See, all this collectathon bullshit is already confusing me. And it's only the first level. See, oddly, that switch does not require a, uh, a ground pound, which is weird, but, you know, whatever. Get these coins here. There'll be some switches over there that I'm not too sure about as of yet. Here's the other banana port number one. And now we get a look at, uh, this is basically the main area of Jungle Japes. You're going to be doing a lot of stuff here, and I think that's Diddy Kong behind those bars. Well, we're gonna have to do something about that. K. Rules minions have hidden 25 golden bananas in this, around this area. Yep, there are 25 golden bananas in each level, but each Kong will only be able to get to five of them. So that is, that is how it is designed. Now we have uh, Banana Port 1 connected. Uh, there's a Banana Port 3 over here, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna do my best to collect every single regular banana in the game even though that's not an obligatory part of, uh, of getting 101%. So there was that, uh, Banana Port 3. And over on the other side here will be the other Banana Port 3. You see these? Oh, they have bananas on them. Notice that uh, the stuff we're collecting is yellow. That's relevant. Uh, because each Kong has color-coded stuff to collect, as we will soon discover. This is a uh, battle arena pad. You hit the Z button, you go to a battle arena, and it's basically a sort of survival thing. Since this is the first one, it's fairly easy. I say that as I get hit, but you know. It's not like you're gonna run out of health, because each of these enemies will have a health drop. And yes, your health is represented by a watermelon in this game, strangely. So basically, you have to, uh, survive the time, and once time runs out, collect yourself a battle crown. That's just another thing on the to-do list, collecting battle crowns. So we have some sort of armory that is run by our good surfer dude buddy Funky Kong who's turned into a sort of weapons mechanic. So yes, we get sorts of guns in this game. Clearly this is the next Call of Duty. So basically, you take out your weapon with Z and C left. You fire with B, you can also hit C up to uh, go into a first-person sort of thing. Here's me demonstrating the first-person sort of thing. You can also do that by double-tapping C left. Since that's, that's an alternate method. Uh, something to note here, uh, with the camera. The R button is your best friend. 
Uh, at least if you have uh, the settings set so that uh, Chimpy Cam, as it's called, is set to free. I think there's five bananas up here. Yep. Wee! There's a golden banana just ripe for the taking. So we have found Diddy. He says we might need Funky's help to get him out of here. And thus, these three switches with the coconuts on them will be our way to uh, free Diddy Kong here. these bananas here. Activate the other banana port too. I guess we'll uh, visit this place while we're here. And that's the thing you can do with the uh, with the guns in this game. You shoot out, uh, you shoot uh, balloons, uh, banana balloons, and they give you ten regular bananas. I believe each character has three banana balloons in every stage. So this is Snide. He's the chief engineer of the blast of matic the thing K. Rule is going to use to blow up this island if we don't stop him. This guy was the chief engineer, but uh, he was betrayed, and so by giving him these blueprints, uh, we will be able to uh, do something with about that there blastomatic. All right. So now that that is out of the way. Uh, other bananas there, but no, there's bananas here. You big goober. Already making good progress on uh, Donkey Kong's uh, regular bananas. I'm gonna shoot out this uh, this switch first because it's it's kind of the it's the trickiest of the three to get because you can't really fire a uh, shot straight on to. Uh, like, you can't fire it from here, because it won't, uh... Switch just won't appear. And you can't exactly, uh... Shoot from... The water. I think there's another, uh... There's another banana balloon over here. course, aiming is a, can be a problem. There we go. Well, that's why you just pick up these uh, little ammo things here. So we'll shoot this uh, this switch here. So that'll be two switches we've hit. And the nice thing is. We could just take banana port number three and shoot this last one here. That makes things easy. So now Diddy Kong is free, and a golden banana for DK will appear behind him. Diddy's color is red. Magically gets banana ported to the uh, to the tag barrel. But before I tag our uh, Diddy Kong friend in, I might as well go ahead and grab that there golden banana. See, these are red bananas, but they are transparent, and I go right through them. As, uh, as Donkey Kong, at least. So. 
already our second golden banana for uh, Donkey Kong, and that will open up the areas that we uh, shot the uh, coconut switches with. So that'll help things along nicely. I'm gonna keep with uh, good old DK here. Kind of didn't mean to go in that cannon, but you know, such is life. Wee ow. Right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and tag in uh, Diddy Kong. See what he's all about. Note that going in a tag barrel, even if you select the same character coming out of the tag barrel, that does refill your health. So that can be kind of useful when you're in a pinch. Actually, there's coins in here. What am I doing? Let's get some of the stuff in the water. There's oranges. Always gotta be oranges in there. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of uh, red banana bunches in the water. Here's some coins. My first note of concern will be to get uh, Diddy's gun, which will be immensely helpful. Because, yeah, all the characters have different guns that shoot different things. Ain't that swell? Not really, though. It's not really that swell at all. It kind of makes things really stupid. Such is life, I guess. Let's grab these regular bananas here. And like I said, the first order of business is uh, to give you your weapon, Diddy. three coins underwater, and that's what we need in order to buy the peanut pop guns. I'm also going to need three more coins because uh, Cranky's Lab is here, too. We haven't seen it yet. It's in a different area, but uh, it is here, and uh, we will need coins to uh, buy some moves. All right. I think if we take the cannon as Diddy, there's two more coins. I was right. My practice playthrough is paying off, as you can see here. There's seven bananas here. It's odd, but you know. Pressing that peanut switch, we have a sort of spiral mountain -y thing going on here. And we're going to climb up it to an extent. And that extent is right here. Hmm, I wonder if I'll need Cranky's help in here. We will eventually, but, uh, we can make do with doing one thing here. And that one thing is, as you can see, shooting this little switch here. And now we have 30 seconds to cross this little gap here before this beam that I'm standing on 
will just flat out disappear. I'm gonna do this a little more careful. I say that and I fall immediately, for fuck's sake. I thought I was being careful until that happened. So we're just gonna wait for time to run out. Just gonna shoot again. See, the problem sometimes with uh, the R button here is sometimes the camera just won't go behind you because you're up to an edge of a level or something or up against a wall or whatever or what have you. And yes, all Kongs can do the uh, Simeon Slam ground pound thing, which is useful. So all I really wanted out of there was a uh, was that coin. Oh, I thought I could get up there. Uh, we'll we'll deal with that golden banana later. All I wanted was that coin, and the fact that the golden banana is available and will remain available is just a bonus. So there's a banana port four here. And this this enemy right here is known as a Kasplat. They can be pretty tough enemies to beat, because they take quite the beating. But for defeating the Kasplat, we get a blueprint, which is rather nifty. I'm just going to jump across all this. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, Diddy's first move. Cranky will say, I've perfected another of my potions. And we pay him three coins. And we get the Chimpy Charge, or the Hurtus Cranium. A powerful shoulder barge. Z and B. So, this is how it will work. And while we're here, we might as well have Donkey Kong pay a visit. As there's also a uh, banana balloon here. And we'll get, uh,. The first specific move for Donkey Kong. So we get the Baboon Blast, the Barrel Imperilous. So essentially, there's three kinds of moves. The one that uh, Diddy got was a special move. Uh, the one that Donkey Kong just got here, the Baboon Blast, is a pad move. Essentially, you find a pad with Donkey Kong's face on it as Donkey Kong, hit the Z button, and uh, for him, he'll go into a uh, barrel blast course, which blasting across barrels is pretty much a staple of the uh, of the Donkey Kong games. So there's that, I guess. And now, time for something awesome. That looks like a crate of a familiar animal buddy. 